Fighter's Destiny. In Fighter's Destiny on the N64, the Joker was possibly the hardest character to unlock in the game. You had to use a character that already had a yellow star above their character portrait, then go into the survival mode and defeat 100 enemies without losing. That alone is a very difficult task. Throughout your attempt of getting 100 wins, you'll have to get used to the small stages because it's going to come up very often. But sometimes in between, you'll fight on slightly bigger stages. The small stage size makes it even harder to stay alive as you can lose by any means, such as a throw, counter, a special attack, or getting pushed off the ring much sooner. The goal is to get 100 wins in a single run without losing, so getting to 100 is not easy, because the match is set to one point. So if you lose by any means, that's it, game over. Then you start over and try again. If you do get 100 wins, you can lose on the next match and Joker is unlocked. But I've had this question for a long time. What happens after you get 999 wins? Does the game have a 4 digit win counter or only 3? Well, I thought I would try and see. As I went through this very long survival run, I noticed that the enemy AI was not really changing. It played around the same since the 20s or 30s, and the stage size had a specific order. Most of them were small, with only two of them being a bit bigger. I would end up fighting the original cast most of the time, and then randomly, I would fight one of five extra characters, like Boro, Ushi, Robert, Master, or Joker, but those special characters rarely showed up. Sure, you can stop after 100 wins and do something else, but this is a question I always wanted the answer to. Does it stop at 999 wins or continue? And so, here we go. We are almost there to the end of our journey to answer that question I've always wanted to know. So I feel like uh, the enemy AI is the same. It's not any different. Wow, okay. The CPU could have like backed up and dodged it and recovered, but yeah, that's just extra. The Phantom Weed 2 combo is difficult to pull off. Alright, good. On to the next one. You might be asking why I didn't take Joker for this specific run. Well, I'm more comfortable using the Ninja just because I memorized his combos and his normal attacks. And with Joker, he's a fun character, but I find that I just tend to forget some things about him. Then I gotta pause and check the command list and see, okay, what's the combo? What's the input for this? Okay, back to the game. But at least with the Ninja, I kind of know most of his stuff that I can use. And, nope, he fell off, okay. So that's a setup I've actually uh, tested out a couple of times. Uh, when they recover from grabbing on the ledge coming up, half the time, they'll actually bump into that uh, blue orb that I'm holding, which is an instant knockdown on hit. What they can do is do a sweep or a low attack um, as they get up from the ledge, and that avoids it, but, you know, Depends. You gotta do one thing and stick to it. I could do that orb or go into a low attack and try to hit them as they're getting up. But uh, they could delay when they pull themselves up from the ledge, which would make my low attack miss their hand. So yeah. Oh, that was a bad decision. Okay. Yeah, this stage, it's a little... Yeah, it's a little small. So, whoa! Yeah, Pierre is really tricky. I'm still not familiar with all of his uh, animations and combos and attacks. Yeah, I tend to forget a bunch of stuff with uh, Pierre. Very tricky character. Alright, so. Getting closer. 987, okay. Let's go. Good, he blocked it. So he's uh, on a debuff. So that means I can launch him uh, with a launcher much easier if they block the blue special attack. All right, there, he blocked it. Easy launcher into a combo. There we go. Yeah, most of my victories have been ring outs. Yeah. You just gotta keep your distance because they can pull your leg if you're too close to the edge. But uh, that's what I noticed. Like, 
The majority of my wins throughout this run have been just getting ring outs. Because the stages are really small, so I do not want to get pushed to the left side. So, I need to like, get him to the edge. From there I have the advantage. There we go. Yeah, that time he didn't even grab, he just kind of like fell over backwards. Yeah, there. Having the replays is a nice feature for the game. And then, oh, missed, okay. Also, if you miss one of those blue attacks upon recovery, you still have that debuff where you can get launched into the air very easy. So using those blue special attacks has a pro and con to it. Robert, wow. Okay, he blocked it, easy launcher into a combo. Push him over the edge, good, there we go. All right. Yep, there he goes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Tomahawk again. Should we try the uh, Phantom Weed? I'm not getting the other hits. Okay, well, forget it. Okay, let's go back to using our standard normal attacks and uh, the basic combos I know for this character. Yeah, getting the Phantom Weed 2 full combo and the finisher uh, during a live opponent is really cool, but it's not easy. There's a juggle. Oh, he went for a throw. Got out. All right. There we go. Extra hits. Nice. Okay. That stage is done. Getting a bit closer. I just need to pass 999 and see what happens. I just want to know. There we go. Got it. Phantom Weed 2 full combo with the finisher. Watch this. Oh, right in the face. That is so cool. Nice. All right, here we go. Next one. 996, Ninja, okay. I barely fought the Joker through this entire run. I think I fought uh, Master and Boro a bit more. Even though it's really fun to fight Joker, his like three hit counter, his uh, combo counter, and also his spinning back fist into a counter is really risky. So, I mean, counters from any character are very risky, but Joker has like three of them in three different ways, which is cool. All right, so here we go. Uh, Leon at 998, almost there. All right, get the sweep. There we go, sweep again. He's over the edge, got him, that good setup. Just hold the orb as they get up from, uh, from the ledge there, yep, got him. Okay, stage 999, nine, nine. almost there. Almost there. Wow, that was nice. She like, you know, turned around and like walked over the edge. <laughs> there we go. Okay, stage 1000. So, okay, it does go to four digits. So I guess, uh, yeah, now I know. Okay, let me just finish Abdul. I want that 1000 wins just to have it. Can't escape. That happens when you hold the L button, which is an auto dodge feature for high attacks and low attacks. But if you do that auto dodge when someone grabs you, you have no chance to do a counter grab or a reversal. Yeah, so that's what that was. Stage 1001. Okay, so I guess at this point, um, I have my answer. Yeah, the game goes to four digits in survival mode. Damn, a thousand wins. That takes a very long time. Okay, 1,002. Oh, this one I think is a little bit bigger than before. Yeah, it wasn't as small as last time. Okay, so who's next? We have Ninja at 1,003. Oof! Oh, dude, I was throwing a punch. And there's the counter at the start of the match. <laughs> So many times, I'm sure that a lot of us have lost that way. A counter right at the beginning. Now I have another question. How high does this win counter go? Does it go to 10,000, 100,000? You know, what is the limit? I really don't know. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.